And I was told that black and Asian people are not wanted as employees of the Bristol Bus Company. And I thought to myself, I may as well expose the racism, or expose the colour bar, as it was known. It took some time to take off the campaign. Support from the black community came swift. It was at a time when Nelson Mandela was fighting racism in the courts. If it needs be, it is an idea for which I am prepared to die. Martin Luther King also came into my thoughts. I was keen to bring the civil rights movement to Britain and to open up the fact that racism was very prevalent in this country. Whilst we can obtain white labour in this city, we intend to go on engaging white labour rather than coloured labour. Well, we don't want them on here, that's the main reason. I mean, you come to look at it this way, there ain't going to be enough work for the whites, let alone the blacks. But anyhow, the balloon has gone up and we were now going to fight this to the end. Yes, well, I think this is going to be all right. I'm, I'm quite confident that whoever goes on, if he find that the, he's suitable, that um, he will demonstrate by his own ability and um, he'll get on very well with the bus crews and all should be quite all right. We went out on the buses giving out leaflets, telling people to get off the bus, not use it. The national press were taking a keen interest in where this story was going to go. I was libelled, said I was dishonest. I sued them for damages and received £500 and an apology. Now it really had taken off, because it was unheard of for a black youth worker taking newspapers into the high courts. They had to now start taking these seriously. It was on the 29th of August. I received a telegram. It was from the Prime Minister. He said, last of the colour bar, Bristol has it. Well, I went down and told my colleagues, we've won. I have no doubt that what we did in Bristol was to impact on race relations to this very day. We've still got a long way to go. The young blacks who were born and bred here will read this history and hopefully take lessons from it and confront racism wherever it shows its ugly face.